Nice village. Boy, a real pearl of the swamps. If you say so. You get by all right? Boy, winter to winter. Somehow we survive. Recognize this dagger? Aye, master. I didn't know you belonged to them. So you know who sent me? Good. Easier that way. Forgive me. I didn't know you came from the ladies of the wood. They help you often? From the time of his cutting, every man is theirs. They be harsh mistresses, but they're fair. Just. Demanding they can be, but then nothing in life comes easy. Who drove off the plaguey heirs? Who gave us seeds to plant? Around the other villages, they be eating the soles of their boots, whereas we, well, we get along well enough. Hear about an ashen-haired woman meeting the ladies of the wood? Well, I ain't heard nothing about that. Beg your question to the ladies, and they may answer. They knows all that happens in Vellum. They got informers? The woods listen for them. A lone word at an ill hour can arouse their wrath, but they hear pleas and prayers as well. Once, a swineherd lost a sow, sat and cried at the crossroads. The sow ran out of the trees as if chased by a devil, straight to the swineherd. I'm supposed to help solve your problem. Tell me what it is. Just the essentials. The war awoke an ancient power. An evil one that feeds on bloodshed. Nightmares haunt our nights and days. Folks sleepwalk from their homes, never to return. Under the tree on the whispering hillock they lie. Unburied all fathers, sons, daughters and mothers. Folk are afeard to move them. You must go there. The dark powers must be cast off. When did all this start? Three year back. I remember, twas a warm day. Went to check the snares for game. Pulled the hair from me trap. It grew dark all of a sudden, though it was nigh on noontime. Thought it was a storm at first. A squeal pierced the air, near burst me ears. The hair rotted in me hands, and the leaves shriveled and yellowed, though it were yet the start of summer. Times have been ill ever since. Folks' teeth turn black as charcoal. Women folk fight like polecats, bawling and brawling over nothing. The young'uns, born crippled, lame, fear and cursing. Long have we pled for the ladies' help. Need more details. You must see for yourself. Me grand's mum whacked me crosswise for straying near the Whispering Illick. But what happens there now is a wonder. A few times folk from round here gathered to chop down the trees and burn the cursed soil back to use. None returned. The ground neath the weeds is white with human bones. Ladies of the wood don't know what this power is? They know all. Old Thecla claimed they'd be punishing us. Folks stop respecting them. Some even call them witches. But must not be they, for they sent you. I'll look around the Whispering Hillock. You be careful, Master Witcher. Don't ye treat this evil light.
gone. Whoa. Come no closer. I know whence you come. That's it, Roach. The powers that protect me, they sense whence you come. Cage. 
blood is my escape. A right you must perform. With the black of raven feathers, the white of my bones, and the swift steed, the mare wild and free, in meadows pasture caught, dark as a bottomless well, black as the depths of night. Such a beast, no other. Gather these and bring them here. Got some raven feathers. Find my remains and bring me a mount. A wind born a steed, a black squall turned horse. Why do we need a black horse? The beast and I shall be as one. As when I lived, we shall be a gale. Nothing to stop us. A wild steed from meadows moist. But where will I find your remains? My bones. They lie in a solitary mound nearby. Gather what I need to free you, then return. Gather and return to the Illumix's depths, to the tree's rotten heart. Pierce my heart. Let blood flow to be born again. I must first be consumed. Go now and return through the passage I have opened. Strange bones don't seem human to me.
Looks like rain. Get him. Hey there. Faster. Let's go. Hey there. For raven feathers. Once I was free, I shall be free once more. I offer your remains. Once I was flesh, I shall be flesh once more. A 
base of power. Solved your problem. Just in case, though, avoid the Whispering Hillock for a while. Cannot be. Where's something lurking there? An evil spirit had possessed a tree on the hill. It was responsible for the killings. How'd ye dispel this evil? Went up the hill, took care of the problem. The details are my concern. I truly said. I knows naught of such things anyway. The crones, or the ladies of the wood as you call them, said to remind you about payment. Take it you know what they want? Aye, I do. Give me the dagger. Be back soon. There's payment. Take it to the ladies, will you? What the hell was that? Tis our pact. Uh, you're a stranger. You don't know life here. It's honest pay for their protection. So, all those ears in the woods... Put it out your mind, master. You soon be leaving and we must tarry on. Our young'uns and their young'uns after them. No gods nor masters watch over Velen. The land is no man's. He who wants to survive... Must seek his own protectors. Your weapon, young man. You even love me in real life. Mm. In real life, you're different than you were in the tapestry. Well, bring it here. Disobeyed us once more. We are forgiving creatures, but you, you allowed the children to escape. They never wanted to flee. They liked it here. They played. Your punishment must be harsh. Now silence! We must speak to the white-haired one. I know that, Mark. This is Anna, the wife of the Baron of Crow's Perch. She belongs to no man. A fruit ripened in her womb. A fruit sprouted from seeds sown by a man she detested. We helped her. She agreed to serve. She bears the mark. She is ours. Come. It is another woman who interests you. Speak, white-haired one. Our deal. I did my part, now you do yours. A word once given, we never break. The girl. Mousy blonde. That's what they call it. 
thin as a rail, terrified, exhausted. She could barely stun the poor thing. We cared for her as best we could. Like she was our own daughter. Wasted affection. She proved a very naughty girl. Mischievous, stubborn, and selfish. Don't believe you. They say you always keep your word. So tell me everything, exactly as it happened. We shall tell you, brave boy. We knew someone special to die. We read beast and trails, saw the omens. We would glimpse her likeness, a mirage in a puddle. She came from the lower swamp. We knew not at first it was her the omens had spoken of. A child of the elder blood, the soul seed that would burst into flame. She fell into our hands. Elder blood. Mm, the blood of the traitress. Dawdling. The table set, the cauldron bubbles. We cannot! You know she is meant for him! Emirith will get her. He will, but not whole. <laughs> well said. We'll just have a sample. I'll take her feet. Lovely. I'm plump. Perfect for a broth. Oh, I can taste it already. Very well. Get on with it! Oh, you'll regret that girl. Regret it dearly.
tried to kill her. Tried to butcher her like an animal and eat her. Her blood. The taste brought back the memories of our youth. Elder blood. Extraordinary girl. But you know that. Such a shame she fled. She escaped you, but I'll find her. We'll come back here together and kill you. You'll return, you shall. Our fates are bound. And one will die. But it shan't be one of us. Now you shall chase shadows and wander midst fog. Each time you see her, she will be a mirage. And if you find her, if the girl <laughs> will die <laughs> this new handsome knight. <laughs> <laughs> so, <very> <laughs>